Hi everyone, today we are cooking a very tasty, very simple to prepare, but very traditional North African dish. Chicken tagine with dates and almonds, and of course, don't forget the couscous. Uh, without further ado, let's get stuck in. So what we're going to need, one fresh chicken. <laughs> Roughly cut into portions. Four carrots. Peeled and cut in half carrots, butternut squash, butter and that squash cut into chunky pieces two fresh onions Two fresh onions, roughly sliced. Two fresh courgettes. Courgettes, cut in half. One clove of garlic. Cumin. One and a half tablespoonfuls. Make it two tablespoonfuls.
three fresh chilies. Keep the peps, they give it more potency. Parsley, fresh parsley. Roughly chopped. Fresh coriander. <laughs> Roughly chopped. Cumin powder, fresh garlic, fresh chilies, fresh parsley, fresh coriander, roughly chopped. Dates. Need to make sure, got no pips in them. Dates with pipsless. Flaked almonds. Tomato puree. Couscous. Extra virgin olive oil for cooking. Loads of it. Turn on the gas. Always a good start. Pan on. Extra virgin olive oil. Loads of it. When the pan's hot, half your chicken goes in. Only do half at a time because you want to seal it and lightly brown it. You don't want to cook it. Seasoning. Sprinkling of cumin. If you don't like your chicken on the bone, obviously you can cook it without the bone, but I like to cook it with the bone in the chicken because it keeps chicken moist 
and also it helps hold it together to stop it drying out. I'm not going to season it again because it already has the seasoning in what's left in the pan with the oil and everything else. So it doesn't need seasoning again. Just seal the, seal the chicken off. Get it nicely golden brown without cooking too much. Sealed chicken. Onion. Fresh garlic. Cumin powder. Fresh chilies. Chicken. Back in. All the juices. Past in coriander. In.
boiling water. Mark here, eh? Half a half a tube. and allow it to simmer for about 45 minutes. In the meantime, get a pan on a high heat. Your almonds. Don't you just hate packaging? I know we have to have it, but it's an absolute pain. And in a dry pan, stick your almonds in. Now you don't want to cook them too long, you just want to brown them off a little bit. On a high heat. There they are, nice brown, golden brown colour. You don't want to cook them over. You want to over. You don't want to overcook them. Nice golden brown colour, just like that. It's absolutely perfect. Just to take away the rawness and give them a little bit more of a rustic flavour. And that's good. As, good as done. That goes in a little bowl. Like so. So after 45 minutes, cooking away nicely.
comes out. Lovely chicken. In goes your carrots. Taste for seasoning. Mm. Bit more salt pepper. Couscous. Couscous in a bowl. Take some butter. Good knob of butter and a couscous. Hot water. Pour it in, just over the couscous, like so. Seasoning. Give it a stir. leave it for about 20 minutes. So after about 10 minutes, in with the butternut squash. Top it up with some water if it's getting a bit low.
After about 45 minutes of the vegetables cooking, they should be nearly done. Here goes your courgettes. Add some more water if necessary. So after about another 10-15 minutes of the courgettes cooking, they can come out. Chicken go, go back in. As you can see, look at that lovely sauce building up there. Nice and thick. Beautiful. Chicken still got its moistness. Chicken's still very moist. Not quite 100% cooked yet, but we'll get there. Next thing we add, the dates. So that's going to go on the back burner and simmer away for about another 20 minutes on a low heat. Take your couscous. Fluffing it up a little bit. Beautiful. And you want to put a little bit of that in the bottom. Chicken.
take some of this fantastic lovely juice stock that goes on top like so few more dates just to make it look presentable. And on top of that, a lovely sprinkling of your almonds. And then on with the lid, very gently. And that goes back on the stove. So that's on the stove, on a low heat, for about another 10, 15 minutes. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Only the finest North African Moroccan chicken with dates and almonds. Done. So, as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. I know, just by the smell, I'm not going to be disappointed with this. Ah, you know what? Moorish, excuse the pun, I know it's Moroccan, but Moorish, definitely. Absolutely divine to die for. Do you know what? I'd love to hang around with you a little bit longer, but I've got more important things to do. I'm actually quite busy right now. Thank you for joining me. Catch you on the next one.